Hey guys, it's Pete from CrunchTimeCoaching.com. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of getting into a winning position in doubles. And we're going to talk about one area that is actually not a winning position that a lot of people think is a winning position and that's why they get burned. So first of all, let's just point out the obvious, but we see this happen all the time. Be careful about being right here. I'm almost out of the camera, but back here and further back, that's where you're basically transitioning to the net. You're, you're going to hit volleys there, but you don't want to consider that winning position. So I'm not saying never hit winning, never hit volleys there. I'm saying that's your transition. You're still transitioning, whether you're hitting an approach shot, whether you're hitting a volley. Okay, you still have further to go on your journey to get into winning position. Another thing about winning position is people think, well, you hit one shot and you automatically just get into winning position. You have to time your split step based off when your opponent is about to put their momentum into the ball. That's where you have to stop. So you may have to stop and hit some volleys there. But you're not quite in winning position yet, okay? Another thing people do is they bypass winning position. They think right here is winning position. And so what's going to happen when I'm waiting right here for a ball, what's going to happen then is often it's very obvious that I'm too close to the net and I'm going to get lobbed. That's probably the biggest reason why people lose points and are afraid to come to the net because like I always get lobbed because they actually bypass winning position. The thing is, is your coach is always telling you get as close to the net to hit your volley. Keyword being to hit your volley, to make your volley as possible. But if you're getting too close before your opponent hits, it's very obvious to your opponent and they're going to lob over your head, right? That makes sense. So to me, winning position is anywhere from like right here to right about right in here, depending on the kind of shot you're hitting, how fast you are, and how, how, uh, what, what, what kind of shots your opponents like to hit, where they like to lob a lot, or where they are more of a person who drives and goes for their shot. The more you know your opponents like, they don't lob very much and they like to hit harder, you want to get closer you don't want to be back where my racket is. You want to be right here. And then what you want to think about is you want to think about if I can, I want to get my belly as close to the net as possible. So let's just say I'm in a, in a happy medium here. I'm right about right here. Now I've got my split step settled. My opponent's getting ready to hit a shot. I split step. I see the ball coming off the racket early. And then I can close get to the net and put the ball away. But notice I ran to the ball to put it away. I was not there automatically. So that way, if I'm right about here and a lob does go up, I can run back and hit an overhead. So there you go, guys. Uh, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching signing off. Uh, if you are on YouTube, I'm going to put a free gift. I haven't decided. If I'm going to put seven steps to a powerful serve or the modern tennis makeover as your free gift for watching this video, I always like to reward you guys for watching my videos. Also, like, comment, and subscribe or follow me on Facebook. This may be on Facebook. If this is on Facebook, look for the link in the description for the free gift. All right, this is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching signing off. Thanks for watching. Stop there. This is Pete from Crunch Time Coaching. And today, today I want to give you a modern tennis makeover on the forehand. I've got a five part free train series that is going to cure most of the problems I see from recreational players over the age of 40. Most recreational players lack the desired spin parent control they want because of inferior outdated stroke technique. Funky grips, poor setup, and incorrect swing paths are killing your forehand. Sign up for my free five part series, Modern Tennis Makeover, and start building a better forehand instantly by watching my first video on core power, which I promise is going to be an eye-opening experience. In video two, watch one of the biggest changes that's happened on the professional tour in the last seven years, used by your favorite pros, Djokovic, Federer, Murray, Nadal, and it's used to dramatically shorten the swing cycle, yet increase racket at speed and power on the ball. In video three, I'm going to show you how to absolutely murder your approach shot. In video four, I'm going to show you why not only learning a swing volley is a costly mistake, but I'm also going to show you how and when to use it. Finally, in video five, I'm going to show you a disguised toss and lob that's going to have your opponents 
walking on eggshells every time they approach the net against you. I promise fun, enjoyment, and improvement or your money back. Guys, it's absolutely free. You have nothing to lose and a modern forehand to gain. So click here to start training instantly and watch the first video on core power right now. We'll see you inside the free training series.